Oh man, so much epic news in one video. Oh, I got the explosion. I'm using it. going on everybody how are y'all doing we've been using them tracks boy all right we have a couple of dope 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 gaming news items for this video before we get started you already know give the video a huge the like thumbs up thumbs up all that good stuff let's get right to the news first news item we have five dope news items here's the first one an update to a Nintendo patent gives us more details to what Nintendo is cooking up with the Switch 2. And it makes perfect sense. <clears throat> there is a Nintendo patent that is upscaling low resolution images to high resolution via machine learning machine learning um this was talked about months ago but because nintendo has updated the patent it gives us a closer step towards the switch 2 and this is why this patent makes perfect sense nintendo is going to bring every owner of the current switch along to the switch 2 meaning if you've amassed a huge game library one day I need to show y'all boys what's on my Switch. I have a one terabyte Switch. Here it is. Bruh. Bruh. The games on my Switch, bro. <laughs> the amount of games on my Switch. And just imagine Nintendo starts from scratch and I cannot um, play any of these games anymore. No. What's going to happen is with this machine learning, I'll be able to transfer all my games over to the Switch 2. And here's the huge caveat. Let's say Yoshi Island, Yoshi, whatever that Yoshi game on the Switch. Yoshi Soft Furry Fluff, whatever that game was called. Um, it's running at, I think, 380p on the Switch. I'm just making up a number. It was a low resolution. My eyes are bleeding. But on the Switch 2 with this machine learning, it would automatically upscale the game to let's say 1080p 4k with minimum work by the developers now i think xbox has something similar on the um, xbox series line of consoles because i was hearing that a lot of those games that when you play them on the new new um generation xbox consoles they're automatically up up upscaled the resolution is better even the frame rate actually runs better so i'm thinking nintendo's implementing something similar to uh the switch 2 so a new patent that upscales low resolution to high resolution via what's called machine learning meaning the developers less work from the developers and the console will just um, the ai will naturally be able to upscale low resolution images which i think is dope 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 all signs are pointing to late 22 early 23 launch of nintendo's next gen console we don't know if it's going to be a next gen switch 2 whatever switch to switch plus switch pro but it's going to be a more powerful console and that's what's most important all right next news item we got a new game to the nintendo 64 switch online services and this came out of nowhere pokemon puzzle league will be available on the nintendo 64 switch online service next week july 15th surprise announcement came out of nowhere now 
Nintendo is already, they've had a direct where they showed the, li the lineup of what 64 games are coming. But this, they've already done that. All of those games have been released. And so, right now we're in the dark. Nintendo, once a month, may just do like they did um, today and just announce this is the next Nintendo 64 game. Fingers crossed for Superman 64 next. And so, <laughs> that was a go joke if you didn't get it. But, Nintendo 64 games, we got a new game coming out, Pokemon Puzzle League coming out next week. I say this every time Nintendo releases games on their online system. Nintendo has the best subscription service, in my opinion. As a retro gamer, the, the Nintendo's, the NES games that are on the Switch Online right now, Super Mario 3, Metroid, the Super Nintendo lineup alone, for me, makes it worth it. Some of the best games of all time, Super Metroid. Link to the past. Oh my goodness. The list goes on and on. Oh my goodness. And so we're getting this Nintendo 64 game. Mario 64. Ocarina of Time. Man. All right. Next news item. This is pretty dope. A new triple A game is coming to the Nintendo Switch. Albeit 2023. Robocop Rogue City has been announced. Multi-platform game. But. I'm reporting on it because in the list of consoles coming out, it'll be coming out on the Nintendo Switch is listed. And this is why I'm saying Switch Pro is coming. The game looks graphically beautiful. So I think this is one of those games that will be coming out more than likely on the Switch Pro. Who knows what third party developers will be doing if they're gonna have their games exclusive to the Switch 2, Switch Pro, or they'll have some kind of upscaling. This upscaling technology uh, could be key in getting a lot of big uh, triple third party games, triple A third party games to the Switch. The next news item. Bro, if you're looking for some great game deals right now, Amazon, Amazon's um, Nintendo Switch Prime Day deals, uh, they'll be live July 12th through the 15th within this next week. And you're going to be able to get crazy, great games at very good prices um, uh, through Amazon. I'm talking about Animal Crossing New Horizons for 50 bucks. Bravey Default 2, fantastic game for only 42 bucks, originally 60 bucks. Um, and the list goes on and on. Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze, 42. A lot of Nintendo's first party games are gonna be 42 instead of 60. A couple games are gonna be half off. And so go and check out Amazon, the Amazon um, summer um, sale that will be going on for the Switch next week, next week, next week. And last, but definitely not least, the more I see and hear about this game, the more I'm hyped for it. Xenoblade Chronicles 3. Previews have been um, up on the internet and virtually every previewer is saying the game is fantastic, actually surpassing their expectations. One article in particular, Digital Trends, says that Xenoblade Chronicles 3 is surprisingly newcomer friendly, meaning the initial chapters of the game, very um, newcomer friendly to get your feet wet so it's not overwhelming. Great, 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 especially if the, the, the franchise wants to introduce new gamers to the series. So previews are out, Xenoblade Chronicles 3 is um, off to a great start. The game launches at the end of July, I think July 29th to be specific, day one by easy for the switch all right dudes those are all of the news items for this video sound off in the comment section below i want to know but before you go bro click that subscribe button stay up to date all things nintendo we're out this channel that i'm about to throw out there for you guys reminds me of me back when i had like 4,000, 5,000 subscribers man and um he's probably gonna lose when I do this, but hey, man, I gotta say, my boy Ob1, my boy Ob1, man, that nigga is my nigga right there. He reminds me exactly of me when I was doing this. Sh
smaller level his channel when i look at it it's such a nostalgia trip and he has a really cool audience too man if you could show this nigga some love too that'd be awesome i don't shout people out unless i like them a lot a lot i'm picky with that but, um anyways my boy obi-1 your boy obi-1 hey man i got you right here my boy get that man a little bit of a look man he reminds me of me when i was smaller you want to take a look in the past my boy this is the way you do it i got the you jedi oh, master the right jedi master, master. <laughs> <laughs> i got you man you're playing two to out bro. thank you i got Obi -Wan, you man. homie I'm dedicating a workout set <laughs> you, my boy let's go guys. <laughs> 26, 27, 28. Ah, he said he ain't no dance.